Our Secret Service busts the rackets. The risks are great and the government men are daily faced by death. Can Jack Holt see it through? He poses as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. He's aboard the gang's gambling ship headquarters when a code message is intercepted. Holt is discovered. You are do your jealous. Stop! Save your wife! She's tied up with a full of the hole! Help! He can't get off the boat after him! Decoded that message from the department, saying there were two agents aboard. Did he tell anybody? He didn't have a chance before he was shot, but he might have written enough to make it tough for us. We've got to search his cabin. Come on. Now go to your quarters. If you behave yourselves, I may overlook what happened. Can you keep them in there? Mm, no, I think so. I'll batten down the hatch and put a guard up. The fight's pretty well taken out of it. That's a break. The captain has the men under control. Oh, Jack. Yes, I know. They drilled him. The important thing, though, is to find that message. The last time I saw it was here, someplace. Here it is. Here it is. We're lucky. We found it before somebody else did. But how can we arrest Quist? There's no extradition law where we're going. We'll have to figure that out when we get there. Also, who Quist is taking orders from. Come on, let's get out of here. So you two lovebirds finally got together. We missed you in the battle, Farrell. Were you enjoying the scenery, or were you just tired? A man has rights to take care of his own, hasn't he? They had her tied up in the hole. My hero. Oh, shut up. What are you going to do about that radio operator? We'll take care of him. And as for Kremp and his helpers, we've got him locked up in the hole. If they try anything, we'll shoot them down like mad dogs. Nice guy. So tender and kind. He'll pay for it with interest when his time comes. It's the bunch off that ship that anchored last night. Yeah. The boss said to let them know when they arrived. Come in. Yes, Rankin? Mr. Gaddy, those people from the boat are here, sir. Well, new arrivals always bury the monotony, especially if they're fugitives from what they call uh, justice. These look 
More like tourists to me. Well, whoever they are, we'll exact our small profit before we let them go, eh, Rankin? <laughs> yes, sir. Who's in charge here? Mr. Garrity. The Mr. Garrity. See the postmaster? <laughs> Mister, whatever there's needed around here, he's it. He's the high muckety muck of this island. Well, well, and a goodly crowd was there. What can I do for you? This gentleman expects a registered package here. What's your name? Evans. Crimp Evans. Crimp. How quaint. Yes, I have a package. Mailboat left it some days ago. You'll have to sign for it. I mean, I don't sign. It's deadly if you're not used to it. Well, they got you in a hot spot now. What do you mean? You take those plates and you just sign your death warrant, that's all. Well, what do I do? Well, why ask me? What are you two hanging back for? I don't want to take those plates in front of those strangers. Uh, don't worry. You won't have them long. <laughs> what did I tell you? Here you are, Mr. Evans. Come on, come on. There is, of course, a slight service charge of $20. $20? I haven't got that much. I won't take the package now. Come now, you wouldn't let so small a sum stand between you and your property. Pay no attention to him. I'll pay the charges. Patience, my impetuous friend. It's his package. His name is on it. Leave it here, I tell you. I don't want it. Wait. I don't like monkey business. Just why don't you want your property? Take my I'll idea. tell you why. If I accept that package, they'll kill me to get away with it. That's why they're here. Don't listen to his bibbles. The man's crazy. Take your dough and give us the package. We want to scram out of here. Don't do it, Mr. Garrity. Please, please. Well, in all my experiences, I've never ran across anything like it. <laughs> and I've had some very funny experiences. <laughs> oh, can the chatter and make up your mind. What are you going to do with it? Patience, my mouthy friend. I must think this over. <laughs> what with? Brain. Plenty of brains, as you will soon find out. The package is valuable. Very valuable. Keep it. It's safe with you. Keep it, I tell you. Well, there seems only one thing to do. Ascertain as to what is in here that is so valuable and so dangerous. I wouldn't if I were you. No, but you're not me. I'm me. And me is going to open it. Don't you know it's against the law to open other people's mail? At present, I'm the law here. The only law. And I hope that sinks in. I'm opening the package. Ah, I see. I don't wonder at the argument. I should judge these to be very valuable. But only to us. And them over, Gardy. I know what I have here. I should arrest you as counterfeiters. But then I'd have to feed you, not get back on your ship and stay there. You mean leave? Whether you leave or not is immaterial, but get out of here. But the plates, his plates, are confiscated by due process of the law, my law. Now get out, all of you. Boys, get out. You'll pay for this. Come on, get out. Get going. Stay. Let me stay here. I had nothing to do with that gang. They shanghaied me. I'm rich. I'll pay you well. I want none of you here. I don't want anything to do with that gang. Let me stay, too. Shut up that wife of yours and make her come along. Don't bother about her. She's made her choice. The thing I'm worried about is the plate. Well, how are you going to get them? Like this. <laughs> Law-abiding, I'd have my men kill you. Law-abiding is good. You're stealing the plates, ain't you? 
Wrong, my friend. The owner escaped to the jungle, the fool. I'll hold the plates here until he establishes his claim. And somebody pays for the damage to my property. I'll herd them all to the shore, and if they land again, shoot the kill. You heard what the boss said. Now get moving. Good work, Rankin. I'll remember this. Thank you. How about us? You're the first woman I ever met who didn't get excited. Over a fight? I was raised on him. Then we can stay? For the time, yes. out of here at once. Those men who are locked in the hold are getting hard to handle. What, and leave Nick's wife and Arnold? <laughs> That's a hot one. Quist worried about my wife. But I'm not going to pull out of here till I get those plates. Say, why don't we go ashore and try to get them ourselves? What, and have Garrity's men pick us off one by one? Well, maybe you're scared, but I'm not. I've got a good mind to tackle the job myself. I wouldn't advise it. But if you really mean to go, there's nothing I can do to stop you. I know that. Look here, Paul, I just There won't and... be any fight. There won't be any fight. But I still think the trip's worth thinking about. These plates are the finest I've ever seen. With proper materials, bills can be made from them that would pass anywhere. Well, if they're so valuable, you think those guys are going to give them up without a fight? Well, what can they do? They're divided even in their own ranks. Just the same. I think we ought to watch them closely. Well, if you watch them too closely, they won't attempt anything. Which wouldn't suit my plans at all. Well, why don't you let us in on it, then? We'll put those plates to work as soon as we can import the necessary plan. With an unlimited treasury, we might even extend the limits of our island empire. <laughs> well, we're getting into bad habits. It's way past our bedtime. You're taking a terrible risk. Never mind about that. What'd you find out, Kate? I saw Garrity put the plates in the safe in his office. That's fine. Fine. We're in a terrible spot. What do you mean? Well, Garrity and his gang are planning to use the plates themselves. I was afraid of that. We are in a tough spot. Rip Evans. I wonder what he's doing here. He can't know where the plates are. It's my hunch he has some idea, or else he wouldn't come back. I'm going to find out. You stay put. I'll take care of him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next revealing chapter of Holt of the Secret Service.